Utah families who depend on food stamps could be cut off soon. States across the country are being told to stop the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program for the month of November pending further notice. Now that's according to a letter from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Fox 13 obtained a copy from the Crossroads Urban Center in downtown Salt Lake. Fox 13's Nineveh Dinha joins us live with more on what the letter says and how pantries and people who depend on food stamps are reacting tonight. Nineveh. Hi there, Hope. Yeah, the Crossroads Urban Center says it's a vicious cycle. If Utah families don't get food stamps, well, they will end up turning to the local food pantries, which are already strapped due to the government shutdown. Homeless people we talked to, some who use SNAP, say losing food stamps would mean going hungry. This is going to create a huge hardship for the people we serve here in our food pantry. The Crossroads Urban Center posted this letter from the USDA on its Facebook page. It says in part, quote, in the interest of preserving maximum flexibility, we are directing states to hold their November issuance files and delay transmission to state electronic benefit transfer vendors until further notice. What this means is that if there is not a a deal, if Congress doesn't reach a deal to get the federal government back up and running, uh, in November about 100,000 families in Utah will not get food stamp benefits. Tens of thousands of Utah families may not be able to feed their children come November. And people out on the streets like Richard Phillips. It can impact us and, uh, and it's going to cause problems because then you, you're going to come to find out you're going to have people starting to steal and do what they have to do to survive. People around here are going to go without food. Laura Lee Smith, who's been homeless since August, says the uncertainty is making her uneasy about where her next meal will come from. I'm on food stamps, you know, and I don't know if I'm going to get them. And a lot of people are on food stamps and they don't know if they're going to get them. Others say if SNAP shuts down, they'll find a way to feed themselves. We, there's always food pantries to go to to get food. But Crossroads says there's no way they could handle the increase if food stamps go away. We'll be affected because if people, you know, if a family doesn't get uh, food stamp benefits, they're, they're going to come here. Uh, we, we can't, we, there's no way we could deal with, with I mean, that's... Um, yeah, couldn't even finish his sentence after that. There was just no way he said that the local food pantries could deal with this. They're already feeling the pinch because WIC, a federal program which provides baby formula and food to families in need, has been affected by the shutdown as well. Now with SNAP on the chopping block temporarily, Crossroad fears their shelves will be empty. Hope, back to you. All right, now Nineveh, what can be done? Hey, you know what, these pantries are dependent on people's donations, but as one homeless person I talked to pointed out, he said the people who usually donate food may not have the means anymore because they're worried about keeping food on their tables during this government shutdown. Uh, he says he's definitely noticed a difference when it comes to panhandling. People aren't pulling out their wallets as often, but hope, you know, the pantries say what they need is food donations just in case Congress can't reach a deal. All right, Nineveh, thank you. We'll have to see what happens. Yeah.